Now we're going to get into tactics and strategies. This is okay. This is what you're going to be able to use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the bedrock, the foundation of situational awareness. Okay. The first one, uh, a circle of uh, protection. Uh, I'm talking about maybe a good six foot on average of circle, 360, knowing who's around you. Okay. I can, distance can get bigger if it's a higher threat assessment. So you're at a gas station at night sketchy area, you want at least a good, I would say maybe 20 feet, <laughs> right, knowing exactly who's around me in 360, okay? Not letting people get too close to you that you don't know, okay? Now, obviously, if it's a, this, the circle will get smaller as you're in a safer and safer area, but just being aware of what's around you is very important. If I exits and areas of concealment. Um, there's a, uh, exits are very important when you go into uh, any kind of building. There's a, a fire at a nightclub, uh, I believe it was in London, I think almost over 100 people died. It was just a small club, there was a band playing, they didn't have good fire code and they had some pyros going on and the ceiling caught fire. Uh, literally there were people like stacked up that were burned alive um, by the exit because there were so many people they got jammed and they couldn't get out. Stepping on each other. And yeah, they were stepping on each other and you got a lot of black smoke in there so it was hard to get out. I saw a diagram of it. Um, so there's like a, a, a main exit uh, where everybody came in the club and everybody was trying to go out. There's a little a door well, there's like a pool table and another exit right next to it. But knowing people didn't know where the exit was. They all try to get in the same way they, or get out the same way they got in. But they just known that they took a little beeline, got right out and walked out. And everybody's body stacked up at the exit because they didn't take notice of where the exits were. Okay. Now there's different if you black smoke you can't see, but you know, know where your exits are. It's very important. Areas of concealment. Um, what can you use for if you're in a parking lot for potential concealment? Between cars. Cars, right? But we'll kind of get a little more. I'll say that we'll get a little more detail into the parking lot. But cars are one. Uh, some you know some people are not very smart in <laughs> criminals. So even hiding behind a, a table or putting a chair up, people may may not think they will can go through that even though they can. So there's really no concealment, but psychologically it might be that he might try to get a better shot or something. So kind of funny, but. Uh, anything you can use, trees are one, uh, buildings, whatever. Scanning is very important too, just using your eyes and doing a quick sweep. Again, you're looking for, we talked about building a baseline, anything that seems out of the ordinary as you do your sweep. Looking at body language is very important, clothes are very important, right? Um, hoodie sweatshirts are generally, generally, if you had to guess, I'd say by 70% chance of somebody's kind of sketchy. If they have a hood on, you see this all the time when they've ATM robberies, because uh, people know their security cameras, they're not stupid, right? So I have a good video on um, uh, pre-assault cues that you want to check out. It goes, I actually demonstrate the stuff and show you what can be done, where they can hide stuff. Uh, any kind of baggy clothes. Uh, if somebody weighs 130 pounds and they're wearing clothes for like a 200 pound guy, really baggy. Or, you know, it could be just a style, um, depending where you go. This is kind of a fad today, but um, generally speaking, you should be concerned that they'd be hiding weapons under those things, okay? Um, backpacks, when it's not, when it's out of the ordinary, is a sign. Like, it's just saying, it doesn't mean somebody is bad, it's just saying negative threat level goes up and you want to watch them and be extra cautious, know where they're at. If you have a chance, you know, go away. Verbal commands are very, very powerful, especially for women, very powerful uh, self-defense techniques. Uh, you want to be very loud and authoritative and, and confident in your verbal cues.